Something we don't always think about is how God deals with us when we're damaged. Let me show you something. So last week I'm in class and that's my hand that you see in this picture. That is a ping pong ball that I had in my class, right? I've taught them a new game that's different than ping pong. Ping pong, you hit the ball over the net. In this game, the, there is no net. The ball must roll off the table. Then you must hit it back onto the table. You have to let it bounce one time, hit it back on the table. It's a lot of fun, but they damaged my ping pong ball. One of the kids smashed it on the floor. It, it shattered the ping pong ball. And once the ping pong ball was shattered, it was no longer any good. We couldn't play with it anymore. And as soon as that happened, God immediately placed this in my spirit to share with you. Check out today's verse. It says he heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. This is Psalm 147 and 3. God heals the brokenhearted and, and bandages their wounds. So unlike this ping pong ball that became useless once it was damaged, once it was broken, you and I, when we are broken, God is there for us. God wants to bandage us. Just like you see me in this frame, a masterpiece. That is what you are in God's eyes. He can look at you and see your future, that you are his masterpiece. You are his handiwork. And yes, maybe you do have a couple bumps and bruises. Maybe you do have some, some, some chips and some uh, imperfections, but if you will allow him to, he can fix where you're broken. If you are brokenhearted, if you are downtrodden, if you are weary, if you are overwhelmed, he is there to bandage you where you hurt. You just have to bring him your damage, bring him your brokenness. If you bring him your brokenness, he can then bandage you, but he cannot bandage that which is not brought to him. A lot of times we'll bring things to God and then we'll hold things back. Those things, those wounds, those things continue to fester and rot and decay and becomes infected in our lives. But if we want to be healed, completely healed we have to bring him our brokenness unlike this ball that is now useless in the hand of god we become useful we become what he loves to use so the whole world will know oh weren't you broken last year yes you were and yet you're still bouncing in life yes i am why how could you have bounced back from this my god can do all things. My God lifted me out of this pit. My God bandaged me where I was wounded. My God sealed the cracks in my life. And now I'm useful. Now I am useful, useful to the kingdom, useful to go out into the world and bring more in to show others that, yeah, you're damaged. Yeah, you're broken. But God says, I'm not going to throw you away. I can still use you if you will let me. And that is the key, if you will let me. I pray that today's video was an encouragement to you. I pray that if you feel broken, if you feel as though there's something in your life that's not right, I pray that you will cry out to God, call on his name right now, ask God into your life, ask him to, to bind up your wounds and to bandage you up and to put you on a path of healing, whether it's emotional bandages that you need, whether it's spiritual, whether it's financial, whatever you are hurting, wherever your wounds are, bring them to him and let him bandage you. You will not regret it, I promise. Again, I thank you for joining me. I pray that you missed me as much as I missed you with last week's week off. Well, we're back at it. I pray that this week, this week, if you don't, if you haven't clicked that subscribe button, I pray that you will click the, click the subscribe button. Join me on this journey. Let's grow closer to God together. All right, let's make this a wonderful journey. So if you're planning to join me tomorrow, I'll see you at 7 a.m. every morning, Monday through Friday. All right, make sure you watch it, share it, and live it. Now let's get busy living the life. God bless you.